Kids, huh? Those tiny dictators. When it comes to actually having one, one in five adults are like, nah, I'm good. More folks are joining the Child Free Club every year. Not because they're too old or broke, they simply like don't want the responsibility of raising a mini version of themselves in diapers. Most members are like Leonardo DiCaprio, men, white and confirmed bachelors. Women can join this club too, but they'll more often hear some random lady saying, ooh, you'll change your mind. And no, random lady, she won't. We are deciding not to have kids earlier and earlier. Studies show that today's adults made this decision when they were teens and they're sticking to it. I know, right? How dare they? Your aunt might give you some side eye for it, but statistics got your back. You see, the number one reason why couples with kids end up fighting is, touche, kids. Huh, so why do we keep having them? Tricky question. I mean, in general, if you ask parents, are you happy? They're not gonna say, run, it's a trap. Parents do love their kids, right mom? But hmm, how can I put this nicely? Oh, well, parents love their kids when they move the heck out. Facts. Emptiness parents are 6% happier. Not exactly a wow number, I know. But still, they're happier because they're done with a million diaper changes. Or waking up every five minutes to check if the tiny human is still breathing. It's easy to forget daily struggles. What really sticks is the fun stuff. Eh, like the first time the kids walked, talked, or flushed a random object down the toilet. Come on again. Anyway, parents usually keep the memories that give their lives meaning and meaning is probably the best reason why having children can make you happier. But things are changing. Families of six, seven, or even eight kids were a trend during the 1900s. These days, having four kids practically makes you a modern superhero. Or, I don't know, Kim Kardashian. If you look at the US alone, people are having one or two kids, Max. Families are getting smaller for many reasons, like more women studying and working outside. Having a football team of kids might not exactly fit the plan of becoming badass bosses. While women have nailed the education game, there are still many myths about having babies. Like, eating your placenta is supposed to make you healthier. No, please, please don't. There's no scientific proof, and you might get an infection. Okay, so just the thought of having a placenta freaks you out. And you're sure you don't want babies? That's totally fine. It's not like you're ending your family line anyway. Let me explain. Take this chimp. Humans, just like you and me, share 99% of our DNA with this little guy, I repeat, you and a chimp have similar DNAs. Now that you know that, let me ask you, how different do you think your DNA is compared to another human? The answer is just 0.1%. Yep, that's basically nothing. So your genes and the genes of a total stranger are pretty much the same. Long story short, after five generations, the DNAs are all mixed up. So it's really, really hard to say that any piece of your family genetic strand today is so damn special and one of a kind. That being said, your genes will make it, but in a weird way, they'll just be in other people. So next time grandma asks where her grandkids are, just share this video. Oh, and help her open the link, will ya?